Well, I'm here with Corey, who's Chief Technologist at Dyn, and we're happy to be an investor in you, just full disclosure. Um, maybe you can give us a starting point of what is it that Dyn does and why is that relevant to the cloud? You got it. We power internet performance for the world's largest and fastest growing websites. So we power their global DNS and email yep. delivery networks. And it's important because it lets people get back to core competitive advantage, not worrying about the foundation of the online business. Okay, so now let me take the jargon out for a second. Give me an example of a customer and what you do for them and what would they lose if they didn't have you? Cool, perfect customer is Netflix. What yep. they lose if we're not there is the content distribution and ability to encode videos on the fly for all of the millions of subscribers around the world. We connect those users to that content. So you're a good example of a company that fundamentally enables the cloud. That's that exactly it. We provide the axes, picks, and shovels to let people build great cloud platforms. Great. So let's talk a little bit about what's happening in the cloud. What are some of the drivers to cloud usage that you see? Uh, more competition is focusing people on where they spend their resources, and they can't be good at everything. Yep. They have to figure out what's going to differentiate them, and everything else, look at what they can do to outsource that to folks that can fill that, that need. So you're, you're talking very much to one of the key trends that we highlight in the survey, which I call out-servicing, actually. Yes. As everything becomes available as a service, people outsource everything that's not their core competence, and I call that out-servicing, and then they focus on their core competence. Yes, and this becomes more important at scale, too, because when these problems get bigger, they get more complicated, and yeah. that requires more attention and more resources being spent on them, which is more of a distraction for the business. So can you talk about some of the services that you're seeing that are interesting now, that are cropping up in the cloud? So biggest things would be any sort of internally run open source, any internally run security services, things where folks used to be concerned about the data, now look at outside, there are plenty of examples where folks have successfully trusted that information to the cloud, those services to the cloud. And anything from firewall protection services, customer data, billing data, uh, what used to be heralded as, you know, must not leave these walls, well, now there's trusted stories out there where it has left the walls, it's been okay. And for even the incidents where there has been a compromise, it was successfully managed and the risk never goes away. It's just now you have folks that are watching it on guard that are specialists in that. So one of the key things that enables that is people getting comfortable with SLAs. Can you talk a little bit about how those are evolving and what you do to support them? Yes, biggest thing is just the, uh, ah, blah, blah, blah. all right. Biggest thing for SLAs is just the confidence in watching other folks live up to their SLAs. So the more time that goes on, the more folks realize that, hey, this is something that I can believe in. But SLAs in and of themselves aren't the important part. The important part is knowing that if there's a, an evolution of need, if there's an evolution of complexity, if just the, the challenge becomes more difficult, is there a relationship there they can reach out to and they can work with that partner to solve that problem? Because the SLA, you might get a credit back on your bill, that's not really yeah, the point. Yeah, it doesn't solve your problem. Right. Yeah. So give us a sense of what you think are now some of the drivers for cloud usage. And uh, as we look forward, what do you think will be coming up in the next you know, year or so? Biggest drivers for cloud usage. Uh, the internet is a global phenomenon. And it continues to expand in international locations. And the users in those international locations, particularly Africa and Asia, are continuously mobile users. Mm -hmm. And when folks think of evolving an existing legacy business that might have been supporting, even online, North American users on a desktop, now supporting mobile users uh, in, in, in emerging economies becomes quite a different beast, both from a speed perspective, a data management perspective, a delivery of service expect, uh, perspective, and a user experience perspective. So mobile is obviously one of the key things you're highlighting here. Yes, absolutely. And, and let's look on the other side of things. What's inhibiting cloud adoption? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, I would say there's still some industries that are somewhat entrenched in how they think about managing their data, managing their security. Uh, folks that have more of a mentality of securing the walls of a location as opposed to securing the data itself. Uh, but slowly but surely, the use cases where it has been successful, it's been proven valid, that word is getting out and people are understanding that, hey, this has now a best practice behind it and folks can begin to trust it more. Do you have an example of that that's broken down? Well, I mean, think of even a couple years ago, folks would never trust healthcare data out yeah. to a third party or even outside their four walls or even from out, you know, from behind their firewall. Mm -hmm. And now that's something that we're seeing more and more usage of in terms of patient data and being able to manage where that lives and who has access to it. And folks are focusing more on who has access to that data as opposed to where that data might physically reside. Yeah, that makes tons and of sense. And that's a good thing. Great. 
So what can we expect from Dyn in the coming year? Oh, faster internet performance. That's our, that's our bread and butter, making Great. sure everyone has the experience that they deserve. Well, you've had tremendous growth, and uh, do you see that slowing down? or Absolutely not. Yeah, very good. Well, great to have you here, Corey. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for joining Appreciate us. Appreciate it. Happy to have you as a survey participant, too. Phenomenal. Happy to support. Thanks. Pleasure.